Good morning everyone, welcome to our Moravian Text Bible Study for Tuesday the 7th of April. We are in Mark's Gospel and we are in Mark chapter 1 verse 9 to 20. The um, passage starts with the baptism of Jesus and at that point of his baptism heaven opens, the spirit descends on Jesus like a dove and the voice of the Father speaks over the Son. You are my Son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Verse 12 says, At once the Spirit sent Jesus out into the desert for 40 days, where he was tempted by Satan with the wild animals, and angels attended him. I've often said that um, we see in this passage a really clear pattern for a healthy Christian life. It starts with covenant first, identity first and kingdom activity. All that we do has to flow out of right identity. And so for Jesus at the start of his ministry, before he'd preached any sermons, before he'd healed any sick, before he'd called any disciples, before he'd cast out any demons, before he'd done any kingdom activity, his covenant identity is affirmed his sonship is affirmed the father speaks the words of love over him here we are in an enforced period of isolation of wilderness and what is becoming apparent is that when we have a foundation of right identity it sustains us through periods where things are shaken periods of testing periods of isolation uh, and so I'd really encourage you to do all you can in this season to invest in understanding who you are in Christ in knowing the the affirmation of the father speak over you I love you you're my child I'm pleased with you rest in me of knowing the spirit descend on you inviting the spirit to descend on you at this time Jesus then in verse 14 goes into his ministry in the power of the spirit. He proclaims the good news of the kingdom and verse 15 is a key verse for us as a church. It says the time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. That word time is the word kairos. It's not chronos, which is the tick tock of time, seconds, minutes, hours. But it means an opportune moment, a, a, a significant event, um, a shaking, something happening in our lives that gets our attention. The kingdom breaking in. And when the kingdom breaks in, when the kingdom draws near, there are two things that we need to do. Repent and believe. Repent talks about a change of thinking. Repentance is such a beautiful thing. We can often think of it, I used to think of it as like, uh, tearful sort of beat my chest sackcloth and ashes of God I'm so sorry but that's actually repentance is a joyful aligning with the truth of who God is and the truth of his word uh, his loving kindness leads us to repentance how in this time is our faulty thinking being challenged are we using this time to explore the things that we've built our lives upon that uh, are not of real eternal value so repent and believe. So as we turn to God, as we turn to his truth, we believe, we act, we take hold of it. And that's where we get those two discipleship questions from. What is God saying and what am I going to do about it? And I would really encourage you as a matter of utmost urgency, if you do not have a sense of what God is saying to you and calling you to do in response to that, at this time for yourself then make it a priority today ask the spirit to reveal to you what is it you are saying to me to sustain me through this time of national crisis what are you calling me to do God we brought our now word to you as a church that's something I believe for all of us of course when you've got a now word for yourself you can get one for your family you can get one for your community it sort of builds like that 
And so I'd really encourage you to say, God, what is it you're saying for me, for my family, for those I love, uh, for us as a community of believers, uh, even for the city or the nations, so that you can take hold of that, you can believe it, you can add your amen to it, you can pray into it, and you can walk in obedience to it. The final thing, because I'm just going to go up to six minutes, um, I can't resist. On three occasions, we see the urgency of Mark in his writing. Verse 12, at once. Verse 18, at once. Verse 20, without delay. It's a Greek word, eutheos, immediately. Mark uses it 40 times in his gospel. There is an urgency in Mark's writing. And I think there's an urgency in our lives, not to necessarily do more stuff, but to put priorities and things in place that will sustain us in this time.